Um, all right, so I'm not usually one for disclaimers, but uh, this poem in particular is very scary for me uh, because I think it's scary in general uh, because I think it's one of those hard things to talk about uh, because it usually requires a lot of conversation and it's really hard to put that into such a restricting format. Germs. Germs. <laughs> So um, I am gonna I'm gonna share this with you. It's very important to me. Uh, okay. I know this girl. She is the most beautiful thing in the world. One time I told her, I'm going to think of a word to describe the way you look and feel when our sweat mixes, and it will be the perfect word. She told me to save it and name our first child that word. Our sex is infinite. We are like two burning suns trying to kiss light years into each other's holy, holy wounds. To put it simply, I love her. But it gets complicated, because no matter how much I love her or how hard we try, we will never be able to create a most precious gift or what some people have the arrogance to call an accident. My friend is having an accident. It will have a face soon. He will give it his last name and move in with a girl named Amanda. No doubt, this all started with the smallest lapse in judgment, leading to a conversation about choice. They are kind of in love, or at least will learn to know what that means. But they make carelessness look like a luxury, the way they can haphazardly label their love an accident. But me and this girl, we burn through the finest linen with deliberate friction, less like burning suns with light years to give and more like wet matches. Two dripping sticks grabbing ferociously at each other with all the frustration of two women desperate to give their love a name and a bicycle with training wheels and that complicated time between ages 9 and 14 when he or she will have weird teeth and bad haircuts and we will seem to have all the cameras. <laughs> So here, this is our little flame. I made it for you with all I have to give, and it looks just like us. Some people say that we do not love right. But those people do not understand that sex between two hungry women is like starving to death with a feast inside your belly or like teeth grinding against a thousand prayers for an exception to the rule, when every orgasm is like the phantom cry of a baby that can never be made, but we keep trying, like we are the last two people alive, desperate to save the human race, without the ability to make fucking fire, but we are fierce and determined and angry in the way we make love, hoping just once we will peel from ourselves, smelling like sulfur and legacy and will be able to say in nine months, look at this tiny, tiny guy. We would feel lucky to say our love is so easy that we made an accident. Thank you. Yeah.